good morning everybody and welcome back to a vlog so i am just on my way to get my brows and lashes done it is well overdue ignore the state of me my camera's also zoomed itself in and i have no idea how to fix it so you're very up close and personal um i need to work out how to fix that sometimes honestly the sony camera is a pain a pain but anyway um, but yeah, I'm nearly at Beth's, which is my the girl I go to for my brows and lashes. And I thought, I thought like she was flashing. I don't think she is. I think it's just her lights flickering. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get my brows and lashes done. Honestly, they look horrendous. My eyelashes, they're just done. Like I just feel, you know, when you're at that point where everything's just like. Luckily, I had my nails and I tanned last night, but these are the nails. Got some really cute Valentine'sy ones. Tan last night, so we're on the way to the glow up. Slowly but surely. This jumper is from Pull and Met, and I'm telling you, it's the softest thing I've ever put on my body. It's incredible. I also got a little caramel frap on the way. These are incredible, absolutely incredible. They're so yummy. Um, I've stuck my phone on my dashboard over here just so I know where I'm going. So that's why I'm looking over here. That's the good thing about them sticky things that I use for content. You can just stick it to the side of your car. I don't feel like he knows where he's going. What are you doing? Okay, <laughs> no indicator. Oh god, he's just stopping in the middle of the road. What are you doing? I don't know if he can drive. I'm confused. But yeah, no, 100% sure what this week is going to entail. But I will try and make it as fun, as exciting as we can. When I get back from... <laughs> that man was just looking at that person in front of what the hell are they doing? Um, I, um, Daz has been renovating, um, well not renovating, but like redecorating my bedroom of us. So he's going to finish the wallpaper enough, we think, today. And then we've got some painting to do. Got new bedside table. So hopefully a bedroom makeover will commence today. Well, not today, but like this week. Me and Dan have booked to go to play badminton tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, and then, that is today's plans, really. I need to do some editing. I've got to film some videos for Timu um, to send over to Mel. And honestly, that is all. I cleaned at the weekend, did a big fat clean. I spent like nine hours cleaning. And that was just the top of the house, honestly. I... It took me so long, but I did it really, really far, and I like did a lot of declutter, decluttering, decluttering. Um, but apart from that, that is my main. There's my main plans. I like I said, I don't know what this week's got in town for us. I could do. We're going to return something to Zara if I can find the receipt. But other than that, it is going to be just hopefully a healthy, happy, positive week. I hope you guys have had a good weekend, and I hope you're excited to spend the week with me. Um, the weather is about 10 degrees so it's like a little bit chilly but it's not freezing which is nice but i keep getting the like teasers from google arctic freeze to blast the uk and i just think yeah but is it because i feel like they tell porkies mm. need to get a second here um so yeah honestly i'm just muttering on now i'm listening to music but elvis presley on at the minute so yeah let's go and get our brows and lashes done oh, Are we ready to fake tan together? I am trying a new tan today. We've got a baddest bod. I've been throwing up between the baddest bod express tanning mousse or the ultra dark. The packaging is everything I could want and more. So I'm going to try the express mousse because I don't normally lean towards an express mousse. So I feel like this will be a good little test. I am so excited to try this. The packaging, I just kind of got over it. It's like the pink and the red is the sexiest, best combination I have ever used. So let's go whoa that mitt is so soft is there anything better than a fresh mitt oh she's she's soft and she's sexy let's do our first application this is the before color very pale not so cute i'm so excited oh she's a gorgeous color i love this undertone 
My least favourite tan is a green undertone and as you can see this is not it. Oh, she's a beautiful colour. Look how easy she's blending. I'm also going to try the face drops but I'm going to put them on later. I feel like a little goes a real long way, wow. That is blending in so nicely. Oh, it feels so nice to have a bit of colour. I feel like I've been in the sun. I don't even feel like it looks like a fake tan. How nice is this, guys? I just went ahead and tanned my titties off camera. Let's do an arm. I usually do like two to three um, pumps and I avoid the elbow as much as I can because tan loves an elbow. Oh, this colour is absolutely stunning. It's blending like an absolute dream. It's got no harsh smell at all. I'm so impressed so far. Guys, have we got a new favourite tan? I think we might. Look at that. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing fake tan. Like I've never had a tan just sink into my pores so beautifully. Let's do the other arm. I am obsessed with this colour. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's blending in like an absolute dream. Baddie Spod, you might have to take the crown here. This is the most beautiful tan I have used in a long, 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 long time. Like, I feel like the results are speaking for themselves. The way that just blends out is absolutely stunning. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror up here. How nice is that? Let's go on to the legs. That is insane. Look at the colour difference. I'm just going to grab a makeup brush and do my type of feet with that because my feet love tan. Both legs are tanned. How beautiful and brown do these look? That is what we like to see. Obviously, I still need to do my hands, so my preference for that is I get a makeup brush, any makeup brush, and I just spread it. You can do it with a mitt if you want to. You can just spread it across your fingers in between, and then I'll go over and finish it with the mitt. But you can use any makeup brush that you have. This is how I like to do my hands personally. This colour is absolutely stunning. I also love that this has hyaluronic acid, so it's a really hydrating and nourishing tan, which I feel like we all need because sometimes I feel like some tans can dry you out. But this is also drying so quick as it's an express tan. But also it's got a sai and light tea in, which has got like really skin nourishing ingredients in, which you can't really ask much more than that, can you? One of my favourite things about um, express tans is you can choose your like colour of bronze. Like I'm going to go and now do another layer over my neck. But you could also, if you like a lighter tan, obviously you can one wash it off sooner, but two, not put as much on. I literally am obsessed with how well this tan has layered, guys. It's also cruelty free and Australian made, which is so cool. This tan is stunning. This is the nicest colour I genuinely think I've ever used. I'm obsessed with this colour. One second, I'm going to have to get my titties out again. I just went and done another layer. How stunning is that? I'm so excited to wash this off, I can't even tell you. Honestly, this is incredible. I'm going to put another layer on my shummy and maybe another layer on my arms. Let's strip back into the Calvary incline. I thought I would just show you guys the difference where I haven't done my back. I'm going to get my boyfriend to do it now. But how insane is the colour difference? It is now three days later, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Three days later. How insane are we looking? I'm obsessed. Obsessed. 
obsessed with this fight town. It is the most stunning, even colour. Like my hands are a slay. My arms, everything are a beautiful colour. Let me get my let me get my legs out. They're just so even and like natural but bronzed. I'm honestly incredibly obsessed with this tan. I've been telling everybody about it. Dan was like, your tan looks really good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And when your boyfriend compliments your tan, I feel like you know you've done a good job because sometimes I dig a little ODT. But the way this has just blended so seamlessly, like, is incredible. No fake tan smell. I was going to say no transfer, but I didn't sleep in it. I love it so much. The tan drops, if you watched my vlogmas a couple of days ago, <laughs> incredible too. I um, vlogged putting them on and um, the next day, like on my vlogmas, so you'll see that as well. But honestly, I'm absolutely obsessed. I love this tan so much. It's stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So I suggest you run to Baddie's Bod with my discount and just get yourself it because I had a couple of messages actually earlier. I haven't answered yet. Let me show you. This is just one of them. Looks incredible. Thank you. I'm obsessed with it. Honestly, the bronze it gave me, it stuck to my neck, stuck to my chest. We love you, Baddie Spod, so much. I'm obsessed with you. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. You are a diamond, and I'm so excited to try the Ultra Dark. <laughs> but then, am I ever going to want to sleep in a fake town again? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm obsessed. <laughs> camera being so close what is going on pause i've just got back straight back from my eyelashes and brows and i'm just going to take the dogs a walk because i'd rather it just be done and then when man when dad gets here i'm going to go to tesco and get something for lunch and dinner and then i'm going to order a weekly shop for two i probably won't get one for tonight for tomorrow now So yes, that is my plan. I don't really want to walk them. I prefer walking them with Dan, but at least it's done for the day, isn't it then? And they're walked. You can't even see them because the camera's so zoomed in. Honestly, the Summer Fridays pink sugar lip balm is like, I'm just gonna go down again. <laughs> Nothing you've ever tasted, it's so good. It tastes and feels insane so 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 nice um but yeah i'll show you my eyelashes and brows in a minute i'm really happy with them um oh you probably can't see very well i hate I, well, I don't hate how dark they are on the first day but i just prefer when you can wash them but gotta let them marinate but i will be back in a minute it's so windy guys i feel like i'm gonna blow away i feel like the audio won't be very good but it's so windy Hello guys, so I managed to get the camera to zoom back out. Jody sent me a tutorial. Um, so thank you to the technology queen. We are just outside the leisure centre. We're gonna go and play badminton. It starts in like 10 minutes, so we're quite early. Um, Dan was rushing me for absolutely nothing. I wasn't, ru I wasn't rushing, I, was I wasn't. Can you I not wasn't. eat that in the car? Like, she's just st stood there, just. <laughs> yeah, because where am I gonna put the green thing? We've got to be outside. Not in the car, we don't. Do you no. tell me to eat it in no, the car? No, but it doesn't take five years to eat a bit of watermelon, does it? No, and it wasn't taking me that long. Can you take chewing gum out? No. What, are you going to play sports with it in? <laughs> dangerous. It's me, baby. Um, but yeah, we're here. We don't have any rackets, but luckily they supply them for... I don't know if she said a pound or two pound extra. I think you said a pound earlier. Did I? Yeah, you definitely said a pound. 
Um, I can't remember what she said, but we're doing that. Um, and honestly, since um, we've since I haven't last vlogged when I was in the car, we um, I went to Tesco. Got so you got a cut in your hand. Is it okay. sore? No, there. Yeah, it's really sore. I have to keep knocking it. Oh, it's horrible. Can mm. you get it away from me a minute? Your plaster or something? Don't. Um, I sorry. Um, I went to Tesco, um, and we got something for lunch I had a ham sandwich a smoothie and some discos and then we Daz was doing the room I was editing and then here we all went to Sage and got something for din dins and now we're gonna go and badminton it up so cue the badminton time lapse Um, ignore the absolute state of me. I'm just getting ready. It is Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Um, I'm just getting ready and I've got a POT hook because I'm working with them on TikTok. Hang on. Ignore the mess behind me, it's from decorating, but I thought. Oh no. Oh no. That is not good. Are you okay? Sorry. Sorry for scaring you. Sorry, darling. You okay? Yeah. Sorry, darling. You, it's all right, don't worry. Mummy just was being clumsy. Put that back up there. It's okay. Don't worry. You are right, Ro? Sorry for scaring you, darling. Sorry, boys. Anyway, um, let's do a POT haul. It's like a galentimes -y thing. And to be honest, most of the stuff I asked for was out of stock, so I have no idea what's in here. Hello, Rolly. Sent me some mists. Space Girl Body Mist. This is Space Girl, okay. Apparently, because I asked for their perfume, but it was out of stock. You guess what that smells like? Alien. Oh my god. That smells incredible. That smells exactly like. Spice Girl, Alien. Right, got it. <laughs> this one is True Love. I'm not very good at dupes, but that really smells like Alien. Oh, that smells like a nicer version of Palmer Violet. This one's True Love. Mm, that's nice. But yeah, everyone was like going mad about the perfume, saying how good they were when I was reading the reviews on TikTok shop. Sure. And this one is Floral Dream. I'm running out of space. Oh, that's not too floral. That's more almost like vanilla -ry. Oh, I really like those. I'd say Space Girl and Floral Dream are my favourites. Those are so good. Okay. Like I said, most of the stuff I ordered was out of stock. So they said they were going to just dig things around for me. This is a pink Borg hooded blanket. So it's like a bit of an oody. Oh, it 
soft though. It's just like a pink soft hooded blanket. Blanket. I like that it's not so thick. Um, they also sent these pajamas, which oh, the only thing is they're shorts, and I'm, like, I'm just not wearing shorts. It's cold. <laughs> it's gonna snow at the end of the week apparently. Who's wearing shorts? PLT. The ones I would like originally asked for, like the long sleeve ones, were out of stock. So they've sent over these. They'd be nice for summer though. These satin ones. And then they've sent over Oh well, I think they've sent me a tracksuit. I didn't ask for this. They must they just know me very well at PLT, I think. Molly had is this the one Molly had? Sports Academy. Oh, I think it is. Mole had Mol had this tracksuit and she said it was really good quality for BLT. So it's plain grey and then it has Universal Sports Academy on the back. And then these are the joggers. Oh no, are they not the same colour? slightly off colours. Oh, how do they do that? I don't understand. And then it's got Sports Academy. I mean, hopefully on you won't see too much of it. Can you see what I mean? On maybe you won't see a difference than the last thing. I'm sure I asked for this. This is a bomber jacket. And then me and my nan are going to go over to Stafford. It's like a hooded bomber that says P.O.T. So I'll try them on and see what they look like. Um, but that's my little P.O.T. haul. Badminton was so fun last night and then when we got in we literally had a like kid tea. We had chicken nuggets in the air fryer. Hang on a sneeze. <coughs> oh just one. Chicken nuggets in the air fryer, some chips and salad. And then Bobby Brown, I'll show you what was in it. Sent me a really cute packaging yesterday. But in it is a slip, which I'm obsessed with that brand slip. Like, it's meant to be so bougie. Um, they sent me a slip hair mask, um, an eye mask in there. And it's it, like, you know, like sometimes satin soft, like this is softer than I've ever felt. So they sent a slip mask. They sent the new Bobby Brown Vitamin Rich Smoothing Serum. They then sent, I used it all this morning, the enriched eye base and the normal, and the um, the enriched eye base and the enriched face base, which is so fun. So I'm going to pull a fit together, I'm just going to ring my nan to see how she's getting on ready wise, and I will be back to you in a bit of time this morning. I'm surrounded in mess. <sighs> Hello angels. So I take back, they are on slightly different colour track colours, the tracksuit, but it's really, really nice. I've got it on and I really like it. I've put this navy bomber from Zara on, and then I've got my Axel Regato dupes and then my dual bag. And then I've got greasy hair, but I've just kind of slicked it back and done a half up, half down. I don't really know if it looks okay or not, but I don't care. And this is what the eyebrows, I didn't really show the eyebrows and eyelashes yesterday, but honestly they look so dark when you um first get them done anyway. So I'll show you a close up, but they still look a little bit dark, the brows, but they look really good. I'm really happy with them, happy with the lashes. Um, it is it's 10 to 11, but it's not 10 to 11, it's probably just before because my clock's wrong. Um, and I'm going to go and get my nan, and I'm going to get a match and we're going to have a little look around the shoppies. And yes, that is the plan today. So I promise I will show you what's new in Primark in H&M. There isn't really any more shops, maybe have a little look in Matalan. Um, yeah, and we'll get a little Starbucks. I'm really excited for a little, I think a cake pop and a matcha would go down a treat today. Um, but it's such a miserable day. Honestly, the weather is so great. You can probably see it from my roof. It just looks so minging. Um, but yes, let's go and get my nan and I will let you know when we pick her up. I forgot to connect my phone. That's the only thing, which is a bit sad. I really would have liked my music, so I'm gonna have to wait until I I'm going to have to wait until I um, get to um, 
I'm gonna have to wait until I get to my nan's and I'm gonna run out of petrol so I'm gonna fill my tank up as well. But they need to put it under covers really, but you know when you just out in the rain? Like not all of them have like a cover, do they? Who wants to be in the rain filling petrol up, you know? It's really starting to come down now. I'm gonna get drenched. Um but yeah, I also used the new well not new, but the vitamin rich base and the um eye base and it's so soft and light on your skin it's absolutely gorgeous really 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 like it um compared to the dupes i think it's really really nice but yes let's meet you in a bit okay guys we've got glennis and we are we're gonna go into matalan and we're gonna go into hobbycraft um Nanny wants to look at jeans. So that is what we're gonna do. It's not raining anymore, which is good. Smell that. How nice. Yeah, it's like a bit like um... Is that buttercream? Mm. Just wanna eat it. Mm. Nice, isn't it? But yes, we're ready. Are you excited for your time? Yeah. Yeah. Put your phone in here. No, no. I like to use it, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a TikTok as well. Let's go. Nanny oh, okay. yes. So you think you've got troubles. Just got into Matalan and this coat is really nice. I love. I also like this mockery brown one. I don't love the black leather. This one's 38. Just gonna smell some candles. That's the right there. Smell this. That's better. Nice as well. I like the uh, nice. Isn't it? The colour. Yeah, I love that. They've got these candles with cities on: Santorini, Marrakesh, Paris, New York. Eight out of ten. Nine. Nine. Don't like this one. This is also nice with the matching leggings. What did you say, Nam? That's a workout. Yeah, that's a workout one. I think I need a large though. This is a nice jumper, guys. 17. And they've also got this green one, which is nice. And this little card again. I thought it was really cute to wear as a top. They've got these pajamas, guys, but they're shorts, and I feel like it's a bit early. <laughs> Hello. Just in H&M. I like this green bomber. Here's the coat. And then I also like this leather jacket too. Here's the coat. Hello guys, so it's a little bit later, but we've just been to Sainsbury's to get something for tea. And we're gonna have jacket potatoes with chorizo, spring onion, butter, salt, some veg. Um, also got some mango, digest tea, green beans, chicken, Dan wanted some beans, got some strawberries, raspberries, oh, oh no, 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 come away darling, come here, let's pick them up quickly, oh, stupid, what's up, all the raspberries have fallen out. I've got a protein tray, um, more beans, a body wash, some cheese, and then I've got these to try. We'll put the tea on and then I'll show you. Um, we're going to. We've got protein tray. For my breakfast. We're going to try the potato in the air fryer because we've never actually done that. Um, we took the dogs a walk and it was it's torrential rain if you want to know what the weather's like isn't it so I put on 190 or 200 I was just warming it up and you just putting it on yeah, yeah. just put it on yeah. okay. what do you um, reckon 200 feel overwhelmed yeah whatever you think um, but I'm just going to wash the potatoes and then I'm just going to just google um, <laughs> Best 
uh, best air fried jack and potato recipe. We've got the taste of different um, ones. Vid Vividali. And I'm just going to wash the potatoes. Um, and then we're going to rub them in oil and salt. And then we're going to, yeah, hope they're really, they're nice. We're not sure the best thing that we got, whatever you need to do. So we usually just oven them in some like foil. Um, so I'll let you know how we get on, but that is what we're going to have today. Half a tablespoon of sunflower oil. I'm just more concerned if we have to do anything before they go in the air fryer. No, toppings of choice, such as That's butter. fine, then don't worry. Scrub the potatoes, then pat dry with the kitchen bed, we try it first to a plate, drizzle well with the oil. To clean. And rub it into the skins. Yeah. Using your hands so the potatoes are well coated. Season with salt and pepper, the salt will help the skins crisp. Rinse the potatoes in a single layer air fryer. Set the air fryer to 200 degrees and cook for 40 to 50 minutes. Until a sharp knife goes through the potatoes easily. Pat it there so the potatoes have been cleaned. And then let's dry them off. and then we're gonna hang on roll there's nothing happening without you and then I'm gonna coat them in some oil and salt that's what Joe said she did I didn't realize salt helped crisping I just thought it was flavor did you have know that uh, no but then it makes sense that it does why because it sort of dries things out doesn't it and does it yeah. I don't know I don't know the um, the benefits of salt, I'm honest. I do now. I do now, thank you. Let's put some olive oil on these bad boys. You can get it if you really want. Rub them in, oh yeah, make them fucking wet. Have we just got the salt? Oh yeah. Gorgeous. Get that in there. Yeah. Put it in there. Must fold them up. Little oil, little oil, where are you? That's a bit of oil. Shake it off, shake it off, uh, uh, shake it off. Mm -hmm. I love some salt. Hang on, Rory. If anyone else is dog, does anyone else's dog do this? Like, if you shut them out, they cry because they think they're missing something. Like, you just can't. Sh I think it's because we've never shut them anywhere, do you? Mm. That we've never really shut the door on them. You could have pushed the door. No, you just let me in. Excuse me, Dad. We're so rude. Let's try this. Cadbury chocolate milkshake. It's got to be good. I'm hoping it's going to taste like melted chocolate. Cadbury. You want to try first? Do you know, no, do you know what I think it's going to taste like? You know them button yogurts, like the one side? Exactly what it tastes like. Is it? I thought it might. The smell. Mm. Oh my god, that's incredible. Mm. That's that is 10 so out of 10. Good. That's replaced chocolate mail. They do a chocolate caramel one too. Mm. That is incredible. Wow. 
Wow. That is so good. Mm. Isn't it? It's so thick as well. Not much left. No. You have a little bit and I'll have a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Mmm. Made with real Cadbury chocolate. I bet it is. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, it is freezing this morning. It's three degrees. Oh, I feel so cold. Um, but I am just on the way to what the dog is this morning. It's quarter to ten. I've been up since about quarter to eight, but I've been I read from quarter to eight till nine o'clock. I've nearly finished a quarter of Mr. Fury and I'm in love. I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. It's so good. It, oh, I've got about 10 chapters left and not even that and I feel distraught about it finishing. Like, I'm just not ready. Um, and apparently the second book's the best. So I'm going to be sad if I finished it, you know. Um, but I'm so excited. I love it so much. Um, so I've been doing that. I was read last night. Like I've just been reading, 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 reading. But I'm just on the way to walk the doggos, and then me and Joe are going to go into Birmingham for the day and go shopping, have some lunch, just do fun girly pop things. Um, so yes, I'm excited for the day. It's cold and miserable though. Like it just doesn't look nice. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I'll give you a haul of what I bought yesterday. I bought some bras, and I've got it on, and it feels really comfy. They're really, really nice. Um, my hands are so cold. Look at the little doggy. He's so cute. He's such a cute boy. Let's look at the red lights. Look at them. Look at my angels. They're so cute. There's temporary traffic lights everywhere. To be fair, that moves quicker than I thought. Um, but yeah, this is how the brows are looking. They're looking good. They look a little bit less dark this morning. Um, and the eyelashes are still popping. I might not even bother putting mascara on to be honest today. I need to put some oil on them just to keep them hydrated. Um, and yeah, like yesterday, I'll show you what haul of what I got. But honestly, we were just a bit brushy yesterday. So sorry about not checking in, but the H&M was rubbish. Like there was like two things that I saw that were nice, but it was rubbish. There was not nice bits on there. Um, oh, hot hole. Um, so Primark was okay, like I, the clothes were just rubbish, like there just wasn't a lot of like choice. So we'll see what's in Primark. I'm more interested in the home today. Um, and then tomorrow I think I'm going to Foss Park to see Georgie, which is only an hour away from me. So I think I'm going to go see Georgie tomorrow, which will be nice. So another day of shopping and living like luxury tomorrow, hey? Um, I just need to find something to wear, but I might have a look in Birmingham today, see if I like anything. Um, I really just don't know what to wear I'm not sure but I'll have a look what they've got and I'm freezing to be honest with you absolutely freezing my car is finally starting to warm up so I'm gonna go and walk the doggos and I will speak to you in a bit because I'm caught on for breakfast I had a protein shake and the one I bought from Sainsbury's yesterday and some mango and it was yummy hello well we're in Birmingham <laughs> That was so abrupt. Hello, well, we are in we Birmingham. We are in Birmingham and we are going to go have a little shopping afternoon together. Yeah, we're we so are. excited. It is about half one. Uh, 17 minutes past. Um, we're going to eat. We're going to get a Phillies. Philly. Our favourite. We're going to get, get a Joe and the Juice match. Yep. We're going to go in Primark, oh, Hollister, Star. have a little look in Bershka and Pull and Bear. I haven't H &M. seen much in there when I've been no, in. No, I haven't. I've not. Than, um, them trousers. I did like them. But you too, put me off by I, the sizing. Yeah. You, I, no. It's you, not no. very, and like, they felt a bit thin. They could have felt a bit thicker. Yeah, I feel like. But I loved the, 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 the concept. I, I was like, The concept oh, was there. They them, just needed no. to nail the fabric, didn't they? Yeah, and just the size. Yes. So small. We're open to purchases today. Jode's heading to Australia next week, and I know that she needs some things, so I'm going to be pushing. I did see some nice Levi shorts on um, ASOS, but I've never had Levi shorts to know what size I am in Levi's. Do you know what? We should go to Levi's in the outlet um, before you order. When you said that. We should go there. Yeah. Because um, I'd be a classic. 
but we it's a non-pressure shopping trip mm-hmm. sometimes like as you know content creating queens would we'll probably get a bit of content but like, we're not you know hardcore yeah there's no come shop with us it's yeah just we'll nice show you some vlogging. bits and sh- jode will show her vlog but not like no you got no not on your phone i have got it oh it's here but oh, it's my not cute, cute glasses. <laughs> no <laughs> no don't take those <laughs> Um, we do pass me them again. Are they yours as well? These ones are mine. Oh, well, and these ones are yours. Which one shall I wear? I think the ones you've already had on. These ones? Yeah. Um, I do have my Balenciaga because I'm what? Did you? I prefer yeah. the Gucci. They've, to be honest with you, they? they've just been sat in my car since you left them. I haven't taken them out. They've just well, been car glasses. I'll um, take them for my <laughs> Australia trip. <laughs> they deserve that. Right, we're gonna get out of the car. We're milling about. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you soon. See you later. They're really really soft guys really nice and i like this little set here with the wide legs really nice i love this like cropped thingy and the pajama bottoms we're just in zara do we have a picture of me oh sorry gosh <laughs> thank you so much i have completely ruined it no no i don't i don't um possibly <laughs> We went through really trying to take my dishes in there. No, I really love that from you. We're in Zara, the clothes have been shocking. That cardigan's cute. Yeah, but I feel like we've seen similar and oh, not for before. For me. <laughs> well, that's our favourite. That's our favourite. Um, but honestly, the shops have been. That's really nice. It looks nice with them jeans. I'd like that outfit, a little. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. The shops have been rubbish. What's that little fluffy thing? Oh, I've seen. Um, I don't think it's very awesome. I like it, but I don't know. It's the buckles. It's a bit like, um, not posh girl. Horsey. <laughs> I've seen someone wear it with joggers and it looks cool. Oh, really? With joggers? Yeah. Look nice. I feel like it could look cool with wide legs, but maybe. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so we're just having a mooch. <laughs> Honestly, the shops are just at an awkward phase, I think. We haven't been seeing much, have we? No, nothing. Hello. I thought I'd turn you on because I've been kind of silenced by Joe while she's working. We've got our snacks. I thought, I, I'm finishing some more on to it. I, ju- I just completely forgot. I thought I feel ever so hungry. And that's what I, I feel empty. Um, so I thought I'd just talk to you because I'm trying to let Joe do a weekly vlog and I kept interrupting her. So I've <laughs> made a promise. You to be guys quite, can just have a for a But I have so many questions now. I'm silent. <laughs> like, I normally don't have that many, but like, I've just been thinking, you know. But I don't want to keep disturbing Just two her. minutes. Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> but, yeah, so I thought I'd talk to you guys. So, shopping, honestly, was appalling. Like, Jode managed to get... I did um, get a lot, to be fair. Yeah, go, obviously, watch her video for a haul. But off the top of my head, we got a couple of cute pairs of pyjamas. We got a claw clip, some earrings. Holly Star, some cute little, like, shorts, yeah. bikini. And, like, they do, like, for your reference. Because, like, we like more of a cheeky bum. Like, we... And I feel like... Because we don't have, like, a very flat bum i feel like when you have a bigger bum you you the smaller the better because otherwise like they cut funny up your ass and make you have full bum cheeks and nobody wants that no, no. so we found that they'd had cheeky fit and cheekiest and cheekiest fits good like it gives a tiny bit of coverage it's almost like brazilian maybe yeah, a bit less. it was really nice and it wasn't slaggy like g-string no. it felt appropriate it flattered it flattered it, it pushed the bum out if anything yeah. looked good but the security guy was a bit weird was watching her in a bikini and i yeah, thought it, she's showing me i know not That's you well i was uh, poking around the thing saying can i have a bigger size and it like, wasn't I just nice. see looking, and I was like, I'm not stealing. Yeah, I've actually got my tits no, out. No, it, it wasn't nice. Like, and it, when it's a mal, it's just quite intimidating. Yeah, so we didn't really nice. like that. Um, but we've got to do the juice naturally. Sorry, I haven't been very good vlogging. Um, there wasn't a lot to vlog. No, there I, wasn't. I, I haven't forgot about it yet. We were just sort of walking around, weren't we? Oh, like it. Yeah, we, and because we haven't seen each other for three days, it's like, <laughs> when have we not seen each other? It's Friday. Mm. Did we see each other? What day is it? It's Wednesday. 
Wednesday. That's what I mean, the week's going really Oh my, well we haven't seen each other since Friday, God knows yeah, we've been yeah, talking. Um, and like when we last saw each other it was with the boys and it's just not the same. No, yeah. it's really not, is it? Because we wouldn't, oh, basically we didn't say bye to each other because I was going to Jodie's and then Dan didn't take so me. But, then we, but then we ended up really not, yeah, yeah, when we re, well, he was like, I'm not coming back I for was you. Like he was so, so angry at me for asking. Yeah. He was like, have you not been with her all day? And I was like, I promised her I'd say <laughs> goodbye. I, I was said, like, but we haven't hugged. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But we managed to get a we hug got in. Back. We got back. Together. And it felt complete then. It was lovely. I was together for hours then. <laughs> we were together for like 10. <laughs> I was at the Indian, it was 10 o'clock. I was like, oh, the crazy. Like yeah, it felt naughty, didn't it? Um, so, yeah, so, but yeah, Primark was, I Primark and H&M were the worst I've ever oh, seen, both of them. Me. Who is going into our companies? Who is going into Primark and finding good bits? I'm Tammy? I feel like you're lying. Like, because there's people that live in Birmingham um, that you guys probably know own heard of, like the Shannon Mooney and there's Brittany Miller off the top of my head. But Sh- Shannon Mooney always says like Pro- Birmingham Primark's like, fucking shit, and yeah. we, we agree. Completely. But Brittany, she, she seems, seems to, to be obsessed. Stuff. But what? But like, what are you picking up? There was like, just nothing. It, and like the clothes were just, Awful. they were ugly. Yeah. There was just a lot of like worky wear, but like boring not like cool things that we could have in our wardrobe just like look if there's a cool pair of trousers that are work for uh, work from home work wear fine we can style them up and catch them down yeah, there was none, there of, was that. none of that there was n- honestly like it was so ugly and like even like where i was saying to you like all this cool gym wear like i've been seeing on that I, there was none of that no. like and then like do i want gym wear I oh, know. But what do I want? But like, prim- we would never go to Primark for gym wear. Mm. You know, if we never. saw something, oh yeah, maybe. But we would never go no. out of our way. No, we wouldn't. So honestly, ha- Zara again was shit. Like, Zara I didn't see much bad. street. Like, I say streetwear. We said it was too streetwear. But like, I mean, like, I've cool. been seeing like some cool, like, viral like jumpers and stuff. There, mm. none of that. Like the set I got. Oh, I bought this tracksuit from there. I can't find my receipt and I just don't want it. I remember you said you wanted to return it. What's it like? Well, it's too big for me. So I got both the top and the bottom and the large. And it's like a, it's, it looks gorgeous. It's cream and it's got like, it's like a cropped, um, zip up white bottoms. They're like baggy joggers. Mm -hmm. No. So the joggers are so big on me and they've got such a big crotch <laughs> and then the cropped thing goes over the bottoms and I look like an absolute pig in it well I just like thought like why is this like not cutting me off like this mm. like am I that short I don't think so I mean no. like you know we're average height right yeah it just felt really attacking like my crotch was literally like <laughs> hanging like waiting for a big fat uh, willy in there you know so, so honestly graphic. it was just silly um, the best shop really but then it was for Joe well it had some cute lounge where room was Hollister yeah but we didn't realise that Gilly Hicks is upstairs I know is it Jill but we'd Gilly? been in there Gilly I say Gilly I now Gilly. my manager says Gilly but I feel that's the poshness Gilly Hicks yeah but I feel it's because she's pop. Gilly Hicks well I think yeah go, like, it's not a J yeah I know Gilly yeah that's what like, that, but then oh, what do I know but we didn't realise until we were going out. But we probably do you know what? But I'd been in denial. there for quite a while well, with, with Joe trying on. everything on. You know, I was quite bored. I thought I'm not interested anymore in Gilly Hicks. So yeah. maybe if we pop, you know. Well, what? I'm gonna have a look online for the because they didn't have the top base oh, that I wanted. It, yeah. I really so you have the coat. They only had an extra small, and shockingly, my boobs were a little bit too big. I could have done. They looked small. good, but they just looked a bit squished, didn't they? Yeah, they weren't comfortable. So I'm gonna have a look anyway. So I'll have a scroll. And there's nothing worse as well if it's too tight. You're more prone to a nipple slip in the sea. No one needs that. No one needs to see that. But I was, me and Jode were talking, and if you, what bikini top do you guys like? Like, Jode prefers with a bit of an underwire, whereas I always yeah. go for, you know, almost like the triangle, yeah, like. Just the, that just. The one you didn't like. Oh, yeah. You never what? Sweet wind, Karen. Um, but then we think that's down to different boob sizes. Yeah. I don't mind them. Like I've got, a, I've got that really cute cherry one from Sheen that's like that, and it's all right. But that's more like crinkled, so you can like shape it around your boobs. And you can like, ee, 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 ee. yeah. But when it's like just more rigid one piece of yeah. material, I don't know. I just preferred on holiday last year my little underwired. Yeah, just to push you up a bit. Yeah. But then the thing is that we were saying like we don't really wear bras. No. Well, we don't. No. So it's like. 
That doesn't really help us. No, not of which gravity. But it's so uncomfortable. Like, if I'm going to wear anything, it'll be one of the Primark seamless Me sets. too. And because, like, well, I'll wear my, you know, my lounge bamboo ones. And they are comfy. But because a lot of the tops we wear are, like, seamless like this, you don't you want to No, you can't. Because you'd see it. But then, like, you, the top does hold the boob in if the top's yeah, tight enough. I will say. Oh, yeah, this one is. Yeah, because it... Oh, it's tight yeah, so it pushes the them on. Like you have to concept. adjust them in them yeah, to make them even them because sometimes when you put them tops on you're a bit like <laughs> yeah so you have to go in and a bit wonky um but it's 10 to 5 oh, i was gonna say what you're having for tea you're having gear ross aren't you no, being made you. tea it's a lovely treat being made tea when you're the cook i'm not sure what i'm having it, they've done it they did it last week as well brother and sister and all made us all did that's lovely you know, well, you are going for a big time at the moment. Yeah, all the help really you can get. We, have we even, we haven't think we spoke about it on the vlog, have we? What about the house? Have we? We might. I have. don't know. Just in case. Just in case. James got a house. Get my keys if you want. Um, <laughs> and and it's it's fun time. It's fun. fun time. Th that, this is anything with the renovation. Like, it's so exciting, but like it's just so much work before you get to the part the you want. Part. Like before the bit that benefits you, okay, yeah. the kitchen's in and you're picking your vases. Yeah. You just got to be a little bit of a while. Yeah. Because I was saying to Jode, like when she's back from Australia, um, like because I said I'd like to go home shopping. Like we can go together, yeah. and like you might be a bit more interested. Yeah. I mean, you'll still be a little way off, but like even little things wouldn't hurt yeah, just to no. start spreading the cost. Yeah. Even like if you saw a cushion you just wanted to die over, yeah. like you could just get it. Because we went to, when I was moving in, we went to Primark at Mary Hill and we got I so spent a much. fair bit, didn't I? But we got like a rug, everything. Yeah. I need to re look at things like that. But you know, because yeah. like when you've been in your house a bit, you just want to change and things and freshen it up. Yeah, it's like change your room, right? Yeah. Um, but we're going to have our snacks. We've got some. Jo well, well, do you know what, guys? So, I just think one pound fifty is a bit expensive for a cheese string, but I thought I'm hungry. Um, so we had two. We got a twin pack, one each, and then we got discos and we got kettle chips. But we've been finding they've been tasting a bit weird. They've been well. We had a pack, didn't we, on the way to? Thank you. Where did we have it? Was it on the way to Warwick Castle? And um, uh, from that service and we yeah got, it was tasted a bit weird they taste a little bit sour creamy and then we had another pack a couple of days later and but we were like no it must have just been that one maybe they got them mixed up but then we had another pack and they tasted the same didn't they yeah and i was like i haven't had one of these for so long oh, like i really I like them in the um but i love when they have been at the fridge for a while more taste really mm, like you can really taste them mm. so how is this cheese it's not is it <laughs> isn't it I don't know. I don't know, it could be. Like red Leicester cheese. Hot cheddar. I love red Leicester. There's a really nice, um, it's Sainsbury's. I never buy it. Well, Tesco or Sainsbury's. I think it's Sainsbury's. Do an organic red Leicester and it's really, really nice. Really? Yeah. Go over. When you can. That's mm, good. Feels intimidating. <laughs> Sometimes I really like to pick and spread it apart, but just go, can't when you're driving, no, can you? No, no, you just have to get it down. I'm going to come in and I'll just stop. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Well, well, yeah. have a nice sunset. Oh, doesn't look likely, does it? It's normally over there. I feel like it's too overcast. There's been no sun today, really. No, it's been very green. It, it tried to peak a little bit but like, when I was on the wall, but like, it just couldn't get behind, mm, like, it couldn't quite get. there. The cloud was saying, like, no. <laughs> stay <laughs> back. Know, stay back. We don't want you. Um... But yeah, we're going to crunch on our crisps now, so no one wants to hear that. Bye-bye. No, no. <laughs> half past eight and we're going to Foss Park today um, which is like what the hell is going on? It's like just over an hour from me um, I'm going to go and get a couple of hash browns just to tie me over because I'm starving my run um, and yeah it's a horrible day it threatened snow in which case I was not going to come but snow has not came it is just torrential rain and it's meant to rain all day so Honestly, 
miserable. I've just got a little jumper on from Primark, grey joggers, Uggs, and then a big white coat. The weather white is a good show or not in the rain? That's a question for another day, but it doesn't matter. Just got to slip that bun because no one wants their hair being ruined from the rain, do they? No, no, no. Um, it says I'm going to get there in an hour, um, which isn't too bad. But obviously, I'm just going to grab some hashies from Mackey's and then jump on the toll. I'm hoping I bought my bank card. Yeah, I did. Um, so we can pay for the toll and then we're on our merry way. But my foot keeps slipping off the coach because it's so wet. But I thought we could just have fun. I don't know. Honestly, the shops have been awful recently, so God knows what they're going to look like. I honestly have no 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 clue i feel like it's such an awkward time of year like there's bikinis out but it's two degrees like what are we shopping for here but like, obviously like joan's going to australia so she's shopping for summer but like if you haven't got a summer holiday you're not going to be some um swim, blah, 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 shopping for bikinis it just feels such an awkward time of year to be honest with you like it's just not cute um so yes i'm excited for a hash brown I'm so hungry. I don't fancy a bacon roll around here, so I'm just going to get two hash browns, I think. Two, three, four. I love hash browns. I could eat them until the sun comes up. They're my favourite thing from McDonald's. The roads don't seem busy there, which is lovely. Lovely, you're blue. I want a coffee, but I'm going to save myself when we get to Cost Park. I'm going to get a free hash brand. I'm starving. Can we go and eat or lunch? Hello, are you using your app? Uh, no. How you order? Can I just have free hash browns, please? Yeah, is that everything? Yes, thank you. Perfect, no, thank you. Okie dokie. Free hash shoes. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Better put my phone up there actually because I feel like it will go really quickly. Well, the maps are wrong. I don't know if to change it to Dunkin' Donuts. And then it'll take me to park the park car park. I've got my maps on and we're ready to go. She said, baby, are you having fun? Are you having fun? It's cool, guys. It's not nice. My car is such a mess. It's got so much shit in it. I've got my water I filled it up to the max branding so we've got that and we should be set little hash browns to keep us going coffee when we get there yeah 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 thank you bye thank you let's go girls oh that sprayed me in the face then yucky where does it want me to go Oh, it wants me to go first exit. Okay. I thought it would want me to go back on myself to the top. Oh, I think I'm just getting on a different top junction. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to eat these and then we'll do a little sing song in a bit. I've got my country playlist on. I don't really have many podcasts. Well, I'm just struggling for like inspo at the moment what to listen to. So. I'll put a little sing with me on in a bit, but I'm just going to munch on my hashies first. I hope you can hear me. Honestly, the rain is so loud. Um, but I thought we could do a little sing with me. I've got 53 minutes to go. Except I think the total journey is like just over an hour. Um, and it's so wet and horrible. Um, what little feet is okay so far. Touch wood. Fingers crossed we have a safe journey, hang. Um, 
but I've got my old daily stock classic just because I haven't really used one but I just thought I need to go back to my roots you know so let's have a little sing song we're at the plaza I love that it's called that it really makes me feel American we're at the plaza isn't plaza America I think mean, it is it makes me feel American anyway but it isn't I'm at the plaza I feel like he wants to go in that spot and I've got I want to go in it so see ya thank you If you broke down in one of these, what a traumatic experience. I don't even want to put that out there really, but imagine. <laughs> Lego! We got new machines, so fancy. Well done, top. Let's continue. You can smile, but don't forget who's taking you home. So, darling, say the last dance for me. So I'm trying to find it. I don't have a hood, which is a bad mistake. I've got the Teslas charging together. Teslas unite. I'm going to try and find... I was going to say, I'm going to try and find the space closest to thingy as I can. Um, try and find it as close as to the door, but realistically, it doesn't actually matter, does it? Right. Let's see where Georgie is. She will get here at 9.34, so 10 minutes. Right, I will let you know when she's here. I'm just going to skedaddle on my phone. Hello! 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 Hello!
looks so cute in your little car. I was like, when I came on here, I was like, green fit, green fit. I was like, oh no. There she is. <laughs> Not standing out in there. I was like, pulling up. I was like, shit, this isn't her. I've come in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Imagine. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, What's the MacBook for? I'm because like, I had it at Josh's. Right, let's. Um, and yeah. we'll just swap between it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we're in, and we've seen this really nice. Georgie's got the green set. Um, five pounds, six pounds. How much is it? Eight pounds. Eight pounds. I was close. <laughs> oh, literally right there. And there's a green. There's a really cute ball fleece, and then they've got the matching leggings, and they honestly feel like I don't know it's the vibes. On, it fits for sure. So. And nice. then we're and gonna then. pick up this little set. This is not Adenola vibes though. No, it's it? like thicker. tight and thick, but more like rigid. Yeah, but, but I comfy. Still think quite cute. I like the colour. Yeah, I prefer the green. This material, honestly. It's like slinky felt, soft felt butter. Like bollocks, but do you know it. what will be cute with like a darker grey blazer, socks yeah. trainers? It's comfy, but I think it looks. You could style it to look quite cute. Yeah, I do too. She's eight pound and eleven pound. Eleven. More expensive for Primark. Yeah, I feel I like they are slowly that. putting what the prices up. For that Primark, yeah. where did the basket go? Uh, on your oh, shoulder, babe. <laughs> Oh, but we're gonna we're good. gonna get get a basket and congregate our bits together because it's feeling a bit overwhelming, isn't it? Absolutely. So, and we're gonna shut the water in there too. Yeah. Okay. So in in we go right. and we'll just take it in turns to hold it. Yeah. yeah. I'm feeling good about this primate, you know. Like me, me too, because I've been seeing nothing recently, so I'm glad to finally you know see something. That would have been so cute if it wasn't that material. If it was a bit more set. structured. Why are we wearing waterproof hats? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it might be good for you run <laughs> running the rain. But yeah, this is the set, guys. Um, it looks really, really nice. And because it's it... very thick. Oh, is that a dark grey in the set? Oh, yeah, like a charcoal. Yeah. Do you know what? Go on, Primark. That's it's what we like from thick. you. It's really thick. She's really cute. Oh, it's with um, Paula again. I don't know who Paula is, but she's smashing Paula it. Paula does smash it, whoever she is. No, it's a much nicer... Um, it's so much better, isn't it? £10. Were they £10 last time? Yeah, £10. I like I these, the I like these new sets with the ruched. Yeah, I can see you living in that this summer. Can't be asked to get dressed. I need to be comfy. I feel like that's cute. I feel like this jacket could be styled cool. I feel like open with like yeah. a white crop and joggers or like with like some like nice particular. wide leg trousers. Like, even in the summer, like linen trousers. Yeah, little I feel like, like, like this could be styled really cool. It is £24, gosh. That's not bad. No, I didn't know how much. I feel like in Zara that would be like 50 and I could see Primark charging 35 for that because they're getting a little bit cheaper with the price. Uh, they are a bit cheaper, yeah, but that's really cute, guys. Yeah. They've still got some knitwear, but the only thing is, I don't know how I feel about the holes because that like, would you see your bra? Like, uh, yeah, what are we wearing underneath? It? Yeah, like, and I feel like this would almost look cuter, like, oversized, like in the summer with denim shorts. Or like a little um, high waisted bikini bottoms, bikini top. With yeah, just and it's like a on. cover up. Yeah, almost like as a drink dress. From the bar yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, so I feel like this is more of a spring item, to be honest. It is 13. Feels quite nice, actually. It does, doesn't it? It's quite a nice. Um, it doesn't quality. feel bad quality. I feel like got it a bit oversized. I feel like it'd look really cute in spring, summer, yeah, do you? 100%. They've got some cute knitwear. And then these, Jodie got this yesterday, the beige one. And it's like for Australia. Oh, but like in summer with like denim shorts or some like linen trousers and like it's like open yeah, and pretty really at the nice. tide. I feel like that's really I'll look cute. Look at Jenny's Instagram. There'll be pictures. Yeah, there. literally. Be we'll see her that in a Sydney. In a <laughs> oh, they've got a blazer on sale, which is quite nice, guys. It's only that's good. Fifteen, which isn't bad at all. And it's like a nice oversized fit. And then I was just saying to Georgie, I like this crop blaze. It's like a linen-y vibe. It's twenty-two. I'm not a massive fan of the matching skirt, but this is cute. I like the squidgy bottom, awesome squidgy top. Oh, what it smells like. I think it's all closed. I'd be a bit scared to like, put that on. Me too. They've Shall got you? some weird stuff, guys. They've got foot deodorant. They've got shave. Like, they've got like, loads of stuff like that out. And we've Exfoliating got... body serum. So I'm a bit confused because that sounds they've like got that's like going to stick. Saving, shaving sorbet and all sorts, I don't know. It's got glitter in it as well. Oh, for it just makes it feel a bit sick. Mm. Like, I'd be scared, would you? I'm confused. Yeah, because the thing is. That to me, when you're shaving, it's gonna like go in, and then it's. I can imagine that stinging. I feel yeah. absolutely yeah. Oh look, someone's opened the foot deodorant spray. Let's smell it. Someone's thought, oh god, I need to. Yeah, I feel like it's, let's just take the. I feel like, do you reckon it'll be like mint? I don't get how you can have a foot deodorant. Can't smell it. Oh, it smells a bit like breath spray, doesn't it? It's, what is that smell? Like I don't know. It, a bit like listerine. Is that listerine. A little bit. Doesn't say helps mark. Oh, they've got B bold. Oh, it's in meant here. to be sweet mint. I've I always wanted to try B bold tan. 
Have you tried it before? No. Nine fifty. Very much. It's a scam. But then I wonder how much I it is like, it's gen like, like generally. Yeah, true. Do you know what I mean? They've got more little um, no mark lips. I've got like a whole super bright set. Just looking to see what else they've got, guys. I'll show you the outfit. Also, I picked up this like makeup bag. This is the fit. These feel really light. Look, guys, these are giving me the Bottega juice, and then I've got mini baby ones, which yeah. are quite cute. Georgie's just showing me this bag. It's really nice. Like Looks almost thing. like Jacquemus vibes or it something. Doesn't look primer, does it? How much is it? Seven. Nine. Nine. But still, it's not bad, and it looks cute without showing the. I'm thinking, good size, fits the camera and fits the phone. And you can't ask much more. Exactly. And they've got it in you sage green too. Okay. But the brown's the cuter yeah, I think one, the isn't it? I prefer. But it's really bag, nice. Though, not really. Mm. Oh, are you thinking about it? I thought about it the other day and I put it back. And Have you thought like, about it since? No. No, but maybe it's just because it's here. Yeah, I can. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. Just think. If you're going on holiday, guys, they've got some really nice holiday bits. I feel like they're stocking up early. Like these trousers are gorge. Look at the colour of this shirt. Yeah, the shirt's nice because it would look nice with like a white bikini so underneath. Like or... a bikini cover up, but I just would I wear it? I feel like in Cornwall, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe. Look, guys, they've got some nice um, trousers which are 10, and then they've got the matching shirt. And then the shirt that Georgie's got, they've also got the matching trousers. And they've got a little like Hansa G juice. Which is really cute. That's, I've got a, um orange one of those. I like the back. So nice. nice quality. Fit. £10. It's not bad at all. Even matching flip flops, if you wanted to go the whole hog. If you really want to go <laughs> You could go the whole way. Uh, shorts are here, I'll tell you how much they are. Eight. Ooh. So, how much together? Eight and six. Fourteen. Fourteen, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. I might get that. Go on, George. I think you'd look like, really cute. That is so that? cute, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like you'd, you'd look like really cute. Time. Yeah, let me get you the shorts. I mean, they don't look tiny. No, they might work. You wouldn't want what you're on. No, you, you're but this tight and this baggy. I think I'm going to get them. Who am I getting matching? Who am I getting matching? Guys, look at these pajamas. Me and Lana's going to go They're so nice. So nice. And they've got a matching top, I'll show you. Should we go on a little walk? No, we're seasoning. Oh my god. We ventured into the home. That's so cute. That. Imagine that little Easter egg Five pound. I might get that. That is so cute. It's really cute. It'd be cute for like in your office with some little yeah, eggs in. Here you are. Put her in. How much is it? Five pound. You look so cute with that bag. I love it. You think? I love it. I'd... I feel weird coming out in a tracksuit because I never wear a tracksuit. Yeah, house. but isn't it just a free life? I feel comfy. Oh, oh I love that there. candle. Look at how nice it is. That is giving me like TK Maxx home sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it smell nice? Anything. What does that smell like? Um, oh, not peach. Like it's reminding me of someone I can't wear. Me. It it's took me something, but I don't know what. It's really. It's like strawberry something, but I can't. I don't know what. Oh, mm, that's nice. I've also got oils. I've got the diffuser. Oh, this is cute. This is cute, guys. We're just in H&M. Thirty-two ninety-nine. Right, Mark, we want one we saw earlier. I think. Is it? Similar, yeah, or no? similar. It's not quite the same as the primer. Maybe this is the new colour. I do want a green bomber, guys, but I, do, I feel like this is almost too green. Being picky. <laughs> it's, 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 green it's green. green isn't it? <laughs> it's nice, but it's not super squish. Oh no, I thought it could be thicker. I thought it was going to be like duvet material. Yeah, I feel like that's what you'd like, want out of it, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, it's like all American football, I think. This coat is from how much? 100 and. 169.99. 25. 25. Oh god. I don't have a grey coat. But I don't know if I'm I want it a bit lighter. It looks really smart though. Hello, happy Friday. I'll fill you in. But we've just been to Sainsbury's to get dinner and I saw on TikTok, hang on, you're wobbling, that they would do like a Valentine's meal deal. So I thought I'd show you what we picked up. I picked up Wow. A wild, wild West Coast. These are the girls I love the most. Yeah. Um, deodorant, <laughs> don't put it away. I'm, oh, I'm yeah, gonna have I one now. Forgot, I can't put it away. I've got a happy monkey. And then we got the Valentine's meal deal, which was how much? 15? 15. For starter, main, dessert and drink. For dessert, we got these white chocolate and raspberry roses. No, white chocolate and strawberry. 
For starter, we got You Melt My Tart, Vintage and Cheddar you Lee. You Tart. I'm clockers for you. We got this like Parma ham thing for our main. I only have fries for you. <laughs> and then we got ch chunky triple cooked chips for our side. And then we got some, we got these. They're in a little jar as well. Which I'm intrigued by. Got some mouthwash. Got some toothpaste, toothpaste. This was the drink we got. We got some cans of appetizer. And then we got, I got two pack of snacking pickles because I really enjoy these. And then we got some, a met green vegetable. <coughs> What's that on your hand? Don't ask. Poo? No. In a, what, in the kitchen bin? Poo? <laughs> I should hope not. No. And then we got a green vegetable medley. It was that cheesy leaf no, no, stuff. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then we got, um, we're going to make bacon and cheese turnovers in the morning. So we got some bacon and some puff pastry. So I'll feed you in Dan, show Dan's burrito. Let's not leave him out. I know. No. Don't forget what my burrito. <laughs> <laughs> no, because <laughs> if I didn't pass it to you, you'd have been like, show me that as well then. I feel like Jodie would really like this. So I'll have to show her. Oh, right. Well, that's mine. <laughs> I'm not going to go and post it to she her. She can go get her fuck her own if she wants to. <laughs> Um, so yes, I'll fill you in, but I'm gonna eat myself. I want to eat tea, so we'll catch up in a bit. Tea to wire. Happy Saturday. So let we I last spoke to you when we were cooking our tea. What did you think of our tea? I oh, thought it was a very decent meal. Did oh, you? Come here. Your, your legs stuck over. Hang on, Laurie's legs stuck. Ah. Laurie. <laughs> 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 oh no! Hang on. For fuck's sake! Get on with it. He's like wrapped his leg around the thing. They've swapped places where, where they're strapped into the car. He's lexed. <laughs> Give me your toe roll. There we go. Good boy. Um, <laughs> Lori. Lori. Lori Rory. Um, what did you think of the food? Yeah, I thought it was a decent. Do you know what? It was nice. Like, we enjoyed the meal. We didn't do both tarts, so the cheese and leek. We yeah. just did the one. It was really yummy, though. Um, I'd give it a 7 or an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I, I loved the tart. Um, I, the chips were so good. How good am I at making chips now? How good am I? You are good. Yeah. Chunky chip kink. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we got up this morning. We had a bad night with Ross. He he gave us jip all night. He was crying. Like He got us up three times in the night. And he 100% was squeaking again, we just didn't hear. Yeah. Uh, he, their boys weren't like, that. they had a bit of funny bug yesterday, I think, didn't they? Yeah, they were both a little bit off, weren't they? They were alright this morning, like their poos are fine. They were sick a little bit yesterday, they were just a bit off. Um, but God, what we told us about it last night. And like, the thing is, like, we'd, every time I thought, in case he needs to shit himself, you we know, took we'd him out let, for a yeah, week. no, he just wanted to like look around the house. Just give just us, couldn't slip. Just give us chips, basically. Yeah. Um, but we're just pulling into Wicks. We're gonna paint. We're gonna try and wrap up that fucking bedroom. Are you gonna get a white as well, then? Yeah. Do you know which one it is? What cotton? Yeah. Do you want me to leave the ends on? Yeah, please. Thank you. Um. So yeah. So we had a bit of a shit night's sleep last night. To be honest with you. Um. I feel really quite tired. But it's ten to twelve. We got up at like nine. Um, made bacon and cheese turnovers. Let me show you a picture. My camera's been uncharged, that's why I haven't um, shown you guys. But they were massive. They were so yummy. They were really, really good. So we had those. Um, I had about a quarter of mine. I mean, I made them way too big, and Dan ate them both. And then we, and then we've just took the doggies a walk. So they're done. Then Glennis and Daz are coming over. I'm getting rid of my. Um, a table in the living room um so i they're they're taking it down and my friend stacy's gonna have it um, and they're gonna take which is daz's daughter so i'm gonna take and uh, they're gonna take that down and give that to her and the ottoman underneath um because we're gonna get a new sofa we're gonna get like a big corner sofa because we just hate our sofa um I don't really recommend the Habitat Julian to honest. It's lovely to look at, very aesthetic, but like it's not that comfy. And I only got it because I loved how much it looked, how like what it looked like in Spoon Chintzy's flat. 
but like if i'm being honest like it's not that comfy like and it's not very big at all especially for the two dogs and like when people come over like it's just like it's just annoying so we're gonna get a nice corner sofa and then um and then like just make the room more cozy because we never really sit in there because i just don't find it very comfortable i'm so tired um I'm gonna bath the dogs and then I might go, go swimming later when Dan goes to the gym. Um, I haven't been swimming for ages and I'm like pale and my hair's greasy, so like it's the perfect time to go. So I might go swimming. We don't know what we're gonna have for tea tonight. Um, not sure, but I've got, we're gonna do Egyptian cotton in the bedroom, which I'm excited for. So that is the plan. So I will show you me painting today daddy's gonna help me a bit and then um i'll show you what we get up to what we have for lunch and all that good stuff but i'm so tired i'm just gonna voice that molly back okay i thought i would show you an update of the wall the first coat is just drying um i'm really happy with it it looks a really nice colour, nice and beige. Like I said, it's just drying, it looks a bit patchy, but and I've cut in as close as I can to the wallpaper, but I'm gonna leave Daz to do that. He's on his way now. And then I'm gonna grab the white paint and go across the ceiling now, I think. Um, but this is what one coat is looking like. we're done a lot of the daylight has gone but this is how it's drying i'm really happy with it it looks really nice i think it's the really really i think it's a really nice color and then we're gonna like vac the headboard we've got our new bedside tables and then obviously another bedside table will go here dan's gonna box the pipes in we're gonna take that lock and thing off that sand everything down i'm gonna do the um, skirting and stuff tomorrow and like the door edges so this is how we're looking I've took the mirror out because I just think it looks better so much bigger without and then this is what this wall is looking like bedroom update good morning guys so let me move the fan out of the way um it is about it's quarter to ten we have ordered a McDonald's breakfast for breakfast and Dan has been building we've been up since about half seven Dan has been building the bedside tables um so I'm just gonna put the lamp it they look so good I'm so happy with them these are the lamps we chose these were from the range and they were such a good price I think they were like I need to get um some bulbs for them but I'll get them at Wix we're gonna go this morning because I'm gonna gloss the room um and it looks so nice. The colour and the walls that Egyptian cotton has dried literally stunningly look really nice in here. I'm so happy with it. Let's just last night we watched cars and I had a bath. Um, Dan went to the gym and I said we just went to bed. Oh, it's like wrapped.
for my arms hanging. Why did they do it like this? Okay, this is how the wall has dried. It looks so nice. Bedside table. This was from Wix, it was literally 30 pound. It looks so nice. Obviously I haven't put anything else on them. And then inside, they're massive. Just need to try to do up the cables, but honestly, I'm obsessed. Looks stunning. That lamp is gorgeous. Hi angels. So I'm just on the way to my nan's because we're going for dinner, Nanny Sue's. Um, update. So what we did, we walked the dogs, had our breakfast, and then Dan, obviously I showed the bedside tables. I've been sanding the skirting boards and Dan's put the curtains back up. Um, and then we need to gloss all the, we need to gloss all the skirting boards and like all the like door frames and things like that, the windowsill, all that. And then we want to, if you noticed earlier, there's like box like pipes dan's gonna box that in and like add it to the skirting board so it looks a bit smarter so we're gonna do that um not today but like that's just what we've done for today but it looks like a nice calm room i'm gonna put the light bulbs in when we get back i'm meeting down there because he needs to go to wicks um to um pick up some skirting board for the boxing um, and he couldn't fit it in the car so I said well you go on your own and I'll meet you at Sue so he's got room and he's not like faffing around in wicks and we can just go straight to my nan's so yes that is the update on the bedroom when I get back I promise I'll give you a haul of what I got from Primark I've got the bra and the hoodie on I've got a massive hoodie they've really like changed their sizing so I remember the women's grey hoodies used to be like not that big so I was like oh I'll just pick it up in the biggest size which was like a 2xl but it's huge and um, which is fine obviously it's oh no I'm... hello if I look up a dishevelled I am one sec Um, I've left my nan's well that breath <laughs> oh, so I'm a bit she um, we just walked the dogs after dinner she um, Dan was gone to the gym and I have walked the dogs with my nan again just took them on another nice walk because she hadn't taken Bella so I was like I'll come with you but she doesn't look live far from where we walked. So she was like, I want to walk home because she's not very well. She said she just wants a bit more fresh air because Bells hasn't been out. So I was like, long as you're sure. So we drove together and she just popped home. And then um, I'm going to go home, have a bath while well, shower and start getting ready for bed, to be honest. Nothing exciting. Going to get my body ready to tan i'm gonna do fresh bed sheets and then i'll give you a haul when i get in i haven't forgotten but honestly you ought to see if all the house is such a mess like you decorate one room and like the stuff just ends up absolutely everywhere it's crazy so yeah i've got a really sort of spot come on my like inside like here they're on their little bed um but yeah, so that has been my, we had a really nice dinner, had a melt in the pu middle pudding, had some elderflower, it was nice. Um, I wasn't hungry, but when the food came out, I was like, yeah, give me a little cheeky, cheeky roast potato, I'll take that. But it's really brightened up, which is nice, it was so miserable. It was raining, and then there was a gorgeous rainbow, and then it's really brightened up, which is nice. Um, I'm so excited to have a bit of glow, I'm gonna put a hair mask in, I love getting my hair wet in the shower it's just my favorite feeling all the bath and um, it's got so much paint in it from yesterday and just like grease um so i'm really looking forward to it i wonder if mcdonald's will ever bring back the chicken legend what do we reckon guys my favorite things that have been took away from mackie's are philadelphia bagels and chicken legend they are my ultimate favorites and they got taken away and like i miss them every day not every day but most days um 
let me know what your favourite thing is. Like, I used to love the Philadelphia bagel, like, because it didn't feel like naughty, like, it didn't feel like I literally had them since I was little. Like, when my granddad was here, like, when I was little and I used to stay at my nan's on a Friday night, he, he used to pretend he worked at McDonald's and, um, every Saturday morning he'd bring me a McDonald's breakfast and I was like where's your uniform and like it was just such a like a little joke um so like I don't know it just it holds a special place in my heart and then when they got rid of the bagels was it after lockdown like I loved a Philadelphia bagel so so much um and the only place I've seen that does that now is Tim Hortons but it's not that close to me to be honest with you and if I'm in focus Tim Hortons is like half an hour away like I don't really go that often it's a bit of a pain so yeah so it's just funny um and then um and then yeah and then I loved the chicken legend like it was my absolute favorite like, I just don't think the McCrispy compares like the chicken legend was like the best so it's sad really well yeah I'm just waffling on now but it's half past four and it's gonna go dark soon I soon I assume we'll give you a haul we'll put a hair mask in I'll um oh I think I've shown you the updates of the bedroom haven't I um so yes so and kind of that concludes the weekly vlog all about her stuck in my mouth mm. okay you're just gonna have to ignore the mess because it is atrocious <laughs> but Primark haul. I got this pack of bras. They're a little bit big for me, to be honest with you. I wish I'd have got a small. Um, I I just got my top size, but I could do with them like a small just to hold them up. But I've already worn them, and it comes with a cream. I'm out of breath. I just ran upstairs about seven times. And um, it was on sale for six pound for the three of them. It comes with this green, this purple, and a cream. And then I picked up these again in a medium I haven't tried these on these were 12 pound and these are just like seam free ones bras just because i i don't all love wearing a bra as you guys know but when i do these are my preference rather than like a padded i bought a pack of sport socks uh just free sport four pound fifty and like just the classic ones and then i bought a claw clip I really like the size and it was 250 and then I bought a cardigan. Is that it actually? I think I wore it with the tag on. I wore it to go and see when I went to Fast Park this week with Georgie. I pulled the tag. Oh that smells lovely. <laughs> um it's really nice. I got it in a large so it's nice and oversized and it looked really cute with like jeans or joggers and it's just like a gorgeous beige cardigan. I love it when it's got a high neck like it's a top. So love this and then Honestly, I was so angry when I got back from Fast Park because my whole Primark bag split on the floor and all my stuff got wet, so I haven't even looked at it because I was just so annoyed. Um, I got these gorgeous uh, pyjama bottoms. Um, <laughs> um, they are £12. Got a really nice little, it says like, love to lounge. And they're like, really soft, gorgeous wide legs. They're gorgeous quality. And I got the matching top, which I'll hunt out for you then i also got this re this feels like adenola like really nice quality this was eight pound i got it in a small just this really nice workout top but i just wear this as a normal top it's the quality is incredible it really smells nice i don't know if it's because it's been with the washing on the floor really really nice and i got the matching shorts i didn't know what size to get these in i got these in a medium and they were eight pound and they just look like this They've got little pockets, but I thought in the summer with a denim jacket, this is a matching set, will be nice. And I feel like, well, they do that in summer. You know what Primark are like? I feel like if you like something, you should get it. And then I got this really nice, it was £9. And I got this really cute sports bra. And then it's got like a little ruched bum in the shorts. And I thought this in summer with like a shirt or something will be gorgeous. And I loved the back of it. It reminded me of like the Gymshark sports bras that I have. Um... I think I already said like, £9 and I just really really liked it so I picked up that. I picked up some boots cleansing wipes for my desk and then this is the pyjama top. It was £10 and I got this in a large because I didn't want it. I don't really care if it's tight, I don't care if it's loose, like, I don't know what it's going to look like. I think it's going to fit like 
little bit baggy but not crazy big and it's just the same as the bottom it's got this i just think they're really girly soft cute and then i picked up oh this is why it smells nice it's been in a bag with this candle i got the big version that i bought the other day from tk maxx it is um 10.99 but this smells honestly stunning it smells the whole room and i feel like it just gives that cute vibe especially with, like around valentine's day i got the i got some gray tracksuit bottoms just primer but they've changed them and they're really nice and then i got that hoodie that i've literally just took off which is here um and it was eight pound i got it into 2xl but it's huge a size just like go a few sizes oversized like don't go i'd say like if you're like an eight get a large if you're like a 12 like me get maybe like an xl like i don't know it look, it's quite big and long like it was but it looks cute with joggers and it'll look nice with leggings as well and then the last thing i bought was this gentle skin cleanser from cetaphil which i really really like so that was my haul my room is absolutely atrocious i'm not going to put everything away but i'm going to tidy it into piles up my piles dan pile, dan's pile like underwear so yes i'm gonna do that now um i don't really want to but i'll feel better because you can't even walk in the room and it's stressing me out so i'm gonna do that now and then i'll catch up with you when i do something like when i maybe when i jump in the shower and stuff later um i'm gonna put these pajamas here hi besties i didn't end up um filming anything else last night because I tanned and just went straight to bed. I mixed Molly May and I said Molly May filter extra dark and Bod Baddy Spod Express mousse. This is what we look like. I also put um the sat I've got my face is a bit patchy, ignore it because I've been sweating. I went to a workout class this morning. I had drunk elephant drops on, but I had St. Tropez um it's like in a pinky bottle face serum like tan and i really like that um i didn't put a hair mask in but i did wash it this morning but yes i just want to come off and edit the vlog let me know if i missed anything i gave you a haul i don't know if i missed anything else to show you but i hope you enjoyed the vlog and i love you guys more than anything always appreciate you thank you so for, so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video stay tuned and hopefully we'll have finished the bedroom next week